called Sean Ellis, who directed the film and wrote the film and shot the film and produced the film, uh, has lived with the story for like 10 years. So he had amassed a huge amount of um, research. And um, so he shared that with us, me and Jamie, so we're kind of yeah. just piggybacked on that stuff. You know? Yeah. Do you remember having heard of hydration school? Or? No, we weren't taught that stuff. It was quite a specific, you know, thing, incident in history that we weren't aware of. And I mean, I mean it's in, number three in the hierarchy. Yes, hierarchy. I know that now. David and Goliath stories, that archetypal sort of, you know, the the weak against the strong and the oppressed against uh, the oppressor against the oppressed, and that that that's a that's a that's a very old mm. model of. You know drama and storytelling so it's very appealing but in in this case it actually happens and it changed the course of the second world war so i think it's nice to kind of actually play archetypes but you have to be brave with them that you can sort of manipulate them a little bit and you're not we're not making a documentary i like that rigor in a filmmaker that's the sort of per person i want to be involved with you know and I, I'm, in, I'm sort of um, a little bit wary of a director that sits 20 feet away behind a monitor and that you don't have any connection with. And Sean Ellis is right there shooting the film in front of you and he's totally invested in the piece. And myself and Jamie and, and Sean, we became very, very close over the course of the filmmaking and it, it really felt like we were striving to make the best piece of work possible and we, we care deeply about it.